Hi guys, welcome to episode 10 of the Medicine PYQ topic series and the topic is ARDS. So let's get started. So the PYQ which came uh, in NEET 2018 goes like that. According to the Berlin definition, that is the criteria, uh, moderate ARDS is characterized by all except. So we have to find the wrong statement here. So the options are PaO2 by FiO2 ratio 200 to 300 millimeter mercury, bilateral interstitial infiltrates, symptom onset within a week, and no cardiac failure on echocardiography. So uh, let us go to the topic first, then we'll come back to the question and we'll try to answer them. So ARDS, it is a sudden progressive form of respiratory failure that is acute respiratory distress syndrome. It is known by various names, although in the current need pattern, such questions are not expected to come. But since it has come in the past, we should just know the names. So it is also known as shock lung, acute lung injury, alveolar injury, diffuse alveolar damage and blast lung. So these are other names of ARDS. Coming to the pathophysiology, it starts with an insult, which could be direct or indirect, uh, which ultimately leads to the activation of the inflammatory cells and the mediators. The inflammatory cells being tumor necrosis factor TNF, interleukin 1 and interleukin 6, they are important among them and they could be the possible questions in uh, pathology. Uh, then uh, certain other mediators like serotonin, histamine and bradykinin, which leads to damage to the alveolar capillary membrane and increased permeability of these membranes because of which there is influx of protein rich fluid and inflammatory cells into, into these air filled spaces. Uh, the alveoli which should have air now is filled with protein rich edema fluid uh, ultimately leading to the disruption of the surfactant and there is loss of lung tissue. Because of all this there is impaired air exchange and also there is collapse of the lung which leads to the clinical features the patient presents with. So causes of ARDS so it can be direct injury, it can be indirect injury. The direct causes are uh, lung infections like pneumonia. It could be aspiration of gastric content. Then uh, it could be chemical injury like toxic inhalation injury, blunt trauma or near drowning. These are direct causes of ARDS. There are certain indirect causes of which sepsis is the most common cause. So uh, uh, other than the pulmonary sepsis, the non-pulmonary sepsis are the most common causes. Then uh, pancreatitis multiple blood transfusions, uh, fat embolism, amniotic fluid embolism or anything which is causing a cytokine storm, they are indirect injury which may lead to ARDS. Coming to clinical features, patients present with dyspnea of rapid onset which is very acute, uh, hypoxemia that is hypoxia uh, leading to type 1 respiratory failure, tachypnea, diaphoresis, tachycardia, uh, on auscultation bilateral crackles of visa found and their infiltrates on the chest x-ray. Now the most important part of the video, there is a Berlin's criteria from which many questions can be asked. So it can be remembered with these four headings that is timing, chest imaging, origin of the edema and oxygenation. So the timing here is it is acute onset that is it should be within one week. Then chest imaging, on chest imaging there are bilateral interstitial or alveolar infiltrates. Now the origin of edema, it should be a respiratory failure that is not explained by cardiac cause, which can be explained by PCWP less than 18 millimeter mercury, that is pulmonary capillary wedge pressure less than 18 millimeter mercury. And also objective tests like echocardiography helps to rule out any cardiac failure. Then oxygenation here PaO2 by FiO2 ratio is important with a ventilator settings of PEEP of more than 5 centimeter of water. Now this ratio has three grades of severity where mild is 200 to 300 millimeter mercury to moderate is 100 to 200 millimeter mercury and severe is less than 100 millimeter mercury. Now these are certain images which can be given as image based questions in the exam with certain clinical clues and you may be asked a diagnosis or certain other parameters could be asked. Uh, so on the left hand side you can see this there is bat wing appearance which is a characteristic of pulmonary edema and then on the right side you can see total white out lung. So these are features of ARDS on chest x-rays. On CT scan again on the left you can see the pulmonary edema uh, and on the right you can see interlobular septal thickening that is the curly B lines which are perpendicular to the pleura. So these are certain findings on CT scan which could be potential images given in the exam. Lastly the management so we have to correct the uh, type 1 respiratory failure for which we have to give oxygenation and mechanical ventilation and this line is very important that is the setting is high frequency low tidal volume with a high peep. This is also known as inverse ratio ventilation. So this line can be a very important potential question where you could be asked the ventilator setting in the uh, ARDS patient. It can be given as various combinations of high frequency, high tidal volume, low frequency, low tidal volume and so on 
but you have to choose the correct option which would be high frequency low tidal volume with a high peep then certain other measures like prone ventilation and permissive hypercapnia can be done now let us go back to the question so the question which came uh, was this so according to the burling definition moderate ards is characterized by all except so now we have seen what uh, burling criteria is so let us go through the options pao2 by fio2 200 to 300 so we know PO2 FiO2 ratio 200 to 300 is mild ARDS. Uh, now let us go through other options also. Bilateral interstitial infiltrates on the chest X-ray, so this is true. Symptom onset within a week, so this is also true. That is the timing and no cardiac failure on echocardiography. That is we are ruling out the cardiac cause and this is an objective test where we know there is no cardiac failure. So the option A is wrong, which is the correct answer in this case because PO2 by FiO2 200 to 300 is mild ARDS. And 100 to 200 is moderate ARDS. So that's it, guys. That's a quick revision of the topic ARDS. And I hope you could attempt questions of ARDS uh, if it comes in the exam. Till then, keep studying, keep revising. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.